Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christy Martin and this year I'm doing my student teaching in West Palm Beach, Florida. And today is actually Tuesday because yesterday we had it off school because it was Martin Luther King Day. So that was really nice to be able to like sleep in and get some like homework done and figure out what I actually have to do for my college courses because sometimes you forget like going to the school every day is like your job but then you still have like class after and stuff to do for the classes so right about that so I got to do that yesterday which was nice today I'm still observing tomorrow is my first lesson so that's gonna be exciting this afternoon though I have to go get a COVID test um, my university is making everyone get a COVID test if you're having to take classes in person at the school and I am but I think I'm just gonna go to CVS and get one and yeah see what happens <laughs> this will be my second test because I had to get one before I did my private school student teaching it's after school and it is time to get my COVID test so I made an appointment for the CVS drive through one I'm gonna get tested all right that's gonna be an orange stripe bag go ahead and check that out check out the nasal swab and the test tube and the test tube you can put to the side and the nasal swab you can go ahead and open that okay Let me know when you get that open. Alright. Got it. Up, and then go to your right. Okay. You're going to push up until you feel pressure. I'm going to count down from 10 and you're going to twist when I count, okay? Okay. Alright, so go ahead, push up, and I'm going to count 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Alright, oh. so what you're going to do is you're going to grab the test tube. Be careful, there is water inside. At the top of the nasal swab, the part you put in your nostril, there's a little line right underneath it. Do you see it? Uh, yeah. All right, go ahead and break it off oh. inside the test tube. Oh, inside the test tube. How do I break it off? Oh, there we go. Okay. And then once you put it inside the orange stripe bag, seal up the bag, and make sure you take the air out as well. All right, it's done. That one was way more stressful because she's like telling me stuff that I don't know what I was doing. And yeah, but we got through it. Glad that's done. That was a different experience. I never done a self test before. So very cool. It's very efficient. Good morning. Today is Wednesday. Today I can, I do my first lesson. It's not really a lesson. It's a read aloud with some questions basically, but it's still something and I'm still really excited about it. I'm reading this book. It's called the peace book it's part of their curriculum that the district gives them for reading the book or whatever so anyway I just thought it was interesting because as I was reading through like the lesson plan or some questions that were suggested that I ask and reading the actual book it's talking about peace it's talking about um, community and all this stuff and it's talking about like what is peace kind of and it's so weird because last semester I was at a private Christian school and so this book it would have been framed in the mindset that Christ is peace right and he's the ultimate peace and that's where we can find our peace this book is telling um, kids and everything to go and look for peace in different areas of their life almost like looking for joy in every situation which that's totally fine but it's hard not being able to use Jesus because he's ultimately our peace and our comforter, right? So anyway, it was just interesting. The last like page says, peace is being different, feeling good about yourself and helping others. The world is a better place because of you. So it's like an okay message, but it's just not fully true. And you can't say, uh, the real truth, you know, cause it is a public school. So it, it just interesting. And I didn't know how I would feel about situations like this, so this is good for me to document and see, and it, it is a little hard for me because you just want to say it. And so last night I was reading a few verses that I wanted to share with you that were really comforting to me. 
So this one's from Romans 8:11. And if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies because of his spirit who lives in you. And it's always a good reminder, of course, when you become a Christian, the Holy Spirit lives in you. And that's like a concept that we all know. But reading this again, I'm like, the Holy Spirit who raised Jesus from the dead, which is literally crazy and awesome, also lives in me. So like, why am I always worried, anxious, and unsure of the future? You know, because I have the Holy Spirit living in me and that's so cool. So anyway, it's just a good reminder for the day and I just wanted to share some of my thoughts. So today's gonna be awesome and I'm glad I get to read a story to the kids. So that's gonna be really cool. So it was a very eventful day to say the least, but my lesson itself went really well and the kids were a little hesitant about answering questions at first because usually during their readings there are some questions asked but they're mostly at the end, but I decided today to do some questions throughout the book and they actually got more into the story. I did have them chorally read the second time we read the book because the book was super short so when we read the book through the second time I pointed to the words and they read out loud and they actually stuck with me for the whole book so that was really exciting and I'm glad that um, I had that opportunity to do something this week with them like that so that was really fun I finally got to wear these blue pants and I'm so excited they were so comfy today I was comfy all day and I wore them with these booties this black shirt and this jean jacket and it was so cute and it was so practical and really comfortable I'm learning that comfort is key right now I am going to just eat a snack get in comfy clothes I actually have to do some homework I was gonna say I'm just gonna relax but no I good morning long time no see it is now Friday and on Fridays we get to leave at 2 30 instead of 3 which means for a wild Friday night just kidding I'm probably gonna go look for more clothes to choose because my last time I looked it was very much of a fail next week I'm gonna be teaching whole group reading which is super exciting and it's on astronomy so we're gonna get into that kind of mindset I like have no I know nothing about astronomy so I'm definitely gonna have to like do some research there and actually read the stuff before I teach it because I have no clue but it's gonna be really fun so I'm excited all right so I just went to off-broadway shoes and I found two pairs of shoes I actually found them for $60 so that's not bad because it's not the best but it's like Sometimes you spend $60 on one pair of shoes, so 30 and 30, that's not that bad. But I got a pair of Steve Madden like slip-on tennis shoes. I tried to take a video in the store. They look neutral color, but they're really like a light pink. So I feel like they're kind of neutrally, but they're cute because they're light pink and they'll go with a lot and they're comfortable and my school does let the teachers wear tennis shoes um so that's nice and then I got a pair of black flats they're like scalloped on the edge and I've been looking for a good pair of black flats because they'll go with everything and they're closed toed because obviously I was looking for close to the shoes so I'm happy that I went back today also today I got my COVID test results back and it's negative so that's good I mean I wasn't expecting to have COVID it would have been kind of a shock to be positive gotta get through this last semester and then I will officially be able to teach and have my own classroom and I can't wait I have a tiny bit of senioritis I'm not gonna lie <laughs> But it's okay, it's gonna be good and we're gonna make it through. I'm gonna leave the video there for now and go home and relax. But thank you so much for following along this week. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can see all my new videos. I really hope this brightened your day.